Okay, this is USA and China, turn five. The uh, United States has 22 IPCs to spend in the Pacific. Uh, they're going to buy a um, naval base for 15 and a discounted uh, destroyer for 7. Uh, in the Atlantic, the Americans are buying a discounted carrier for 13, a fighter for 10, a, tra a discounted uh, transport for 6, and a discounted destroyer for 7. So that's 36 IPCs. The Chinese have 9 in, um, IPCs, they're going to buy 3 infantry. Okay, attacks. In the Atlantic is the big one. Uh, we are going to go into that German Navy uh, with uh, everything in C-Zone 101. Now we're filling up the transports with three infantry, an artillery, a mech, and a tank. And the two transports with infantry, artillery, and infantry mech are going to go into uh, Gibraltar once the... Uh, well, assuming the sea zone is cleared. Uh, the transport with the tank and the infantry, along with... Uh, hmm. Yeah, along with the uh, two infantry from Brazil are going to go into uh, Morocco. Uh, but basically what's coming into C-Zone 91 are two fully loaded supercarriers with five fighters and a, tactical bar and a tactical bomber, and then a sub and four destroyers. So we'll see if that's enough to kill that uh, Navy. It should be. Um, the Chinese have two attacks. They're both walk-ins, an infantry from Shenzhen into Shanghai, and uh, artillery from Shenzhen into Kansu. Um, the only attacks on the Pacific side for the Americans are they are sending the three um, uh, planes from the carrier in C-Zone 26 to C-Zone 16 to try and kill that destroyer. Uh, so let's roll some dice. Okay, for the attack on C-Zone 16, the Japanese destroyer Fujinami is being attacked by two fighters and a tactical bomber from the uh, American uh, carrier, the USS Lexington. So a four and two threes, one hit, defense, miss. So the C-Zone is cleared and uh, there are no American casualties. Kind of a fairly substantial naval battle here in Sea Zone uh, 91. Uh, there are uh, six uh, planes involved, five fighters and a tactical bomber from the uh, USS Ranger and the USS Wasp carriers. Uh, we also have four destroyers. Uh, the USS Dallas, the USS Nelson, the USS Roe and the USS Bainbridge, along with a um, submarine SS-233 Herring. Uh, this is to clear the landing zones for two amphibious assaults. The uh, SS Samuel Gorton is bringing in infantry and a um, mechanized infantry, and the SS Sarah Orton Jewett is bringing in infantry and an artillery, and they're going to land in Gibraltar. And then the uh, SS Herman Melville with an infantry and a tank. And the SS Patrick Henry with two infantry are going to land in um, uh, Morocco uh, after the sea zone is, assuming the sea zone gets cleared. All right, what we have on the German side, the battleship Bismarck, the uh, uh, cruiser Prince Eugen, uh, the Z-5 Paul Jacobi uh, destroyer, the Graf Zeppelin um, aircraft carrier with two fighters, and uh, U-79 and U-81, two uh, um, submarines, and then the merchant vessel Wilhelm Gustloff and the SS Hamburg are the two um, transports that are at risk. Okay, uh, let's start rolling some dice. We have a four and five threes for the planes. We have four twos. Uh, for the destroyers and uh, two for the um, uh, submarine, uh, and then those guys don't get any kind of. Uh
so here we go. One, two, three, four, five hits. So obviously we're going to take hits on the uh, carrier and the um, uh, battleship first, uh, and then we'll lose two of these, and I guess the uh, destroyer. Okay. So there we go there. Okay, so three threes for the fighters and the um, battleship, uh, or three fours for the fighters and the battleship, uh, three for the cruiser, uh, a two for the uh, carrier, and a two for the destroyer, and then two ones for the submarines. Here we go. Two. All right, we will lose uh, two destroyers because I want to keep this up now that the destroyer is gone. Okay, so we have a two, three fours, and a three, and these guys are gone. Okay, we lose two of these. All right, we need to roll the sub first, and it missed. And then we roll the rest of this. Two, four, six. One, two, three, four, five, and then one of these, so the rest of it will be an auto kill. Uh, but we do have to um, roll the defense. Three, so we'll lose the sub and the two destroyers. And we'll keep the carriers as is, and all the planes will be able to land on them. Okay, so successful um, clearing of the sea zone for the Americans and uh, the amphibious landings will now commence. The amphibious landing in Gibraltar. The uh, SS Sarah Orne Jewett is dropping off an infantry and an artillery. And the SS Samuel Gorton is dropping off an infantry and a mechanized infantry. Germany is defending with two artillery. So two twos and two ones. All misses. Not a good start. Both misses. Well, that's good news. Two hits, so that's the battle. And no hits, so that's excellent. So uh, the United States uh, liberates Gibraltar at uh, the cost of no casualties whatsoever. Okay, this is the second amphibious landing. We're landing in Morocco. The uh, transport ship, the SS Herman Melville, is dropping off an infantry and a tank. And the SS Patrick Henry is dropping off two infantry. I don't actually like the unit profiles here. They have a good, very good chance of losing this. So we have a three and three ones versus a tank and a mech. Well, we got the hit, so that's a good start. So two and a three. Both misses. Okay, that's I'm not as worried anymore. Okay. Three hits, wow, okay, overkill. And miss, so the Americans take the territory with no casualties at all. Excellent. Okay, non-combat, obviously all the planes are gonna land back on the carrier in season 91. The rest of the movement is in the Pacific. Uh, oh, what are these guys gonna do? Um, sorry, I didn't move these guys. Um, I'm going to move these guys into Kwai Chow, okay, uh, along with the um, uh, plane. So all these guys are going to Kwai Chow. Sorry, I forgot to move them. All right, uh, the uh, planes here will go to Sea Zone 25 and everything in Hawaii. Um, so we've got uh, two, uh, three infantry and a mech. Uh, are going to go to Midway, and then all of this Navy is going to come to Midway. Uh, we're also loading up two infantry from the western United States, and then these two cruisers are also going to go to Midway. So everything's going to be congregated in Midway. Uh, and then these two uh, transport ships, which Miracle of Miracle somehow survived, thanks to the uh, busyness of the uh, Anzac forces, uh, are going to go to Sea Zone 54 and drop off in Queensland. 
Uh, so I think that's that. Okay. Uh, so I'll tidy this up and we'll come back in a sec. Okay, purchasing new units. The um, all the naval units are going to go here. So we have a new destroyer, a new transport, a new carrier, and a new fighter on the carrier. Um, over in the Pacific, uh, the new destroyer is going into C-Zone 10. And the new naval base is going on Midway. Um, for the Chinese, we're going to build... Uh, one infantry in Hopei and two infantry in Kuaichou. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, let's do uh, income. We have uh, the Chinese get two territories back from the Japanese. Um, so that's a two point swing there. And then uh, over here, um, obviously the uh, Gibraltar is uh, liberated, and the Americans are going to take one IPC away from the Italians. Uh, so, on the income tracker, uh, China is going to go from 12 to 14, and Japan is going to go from 38 to 36. Uh, and then Italy is going to go down one from 13 to 12, and the Atlantic Americans are going to go from 37 to 38. Uh, so income, uh, China, 14, Atlantic uh, USA, 38, uh, Pacific USA, 17, but they get their propaganda, so higher of the two die. They get six more, so 17 plus 6 is 23. IPCs that they're going to put into their treasury for next turn. Okay, uh, disposition of forces. In uh, the eastern United States, there is a, um, uh, what do we call that? A uh, mechanized infantry. In C Zone 101, there's a carrier with a fighter on it, uh, there's a destroyer, and there is a um, transport ship. In C-Zone 91, there are two fully loaded supercarriers, one with three fighters and one with two fighters and attack bomber. There are also four transports. In Gibraltar, there is an infantry, or there are two infantry, a mechanized infantry, and an artillery. In Morocco, there are three infantry and a tank. Um, in the Pacific, in C-Zone 10, we have a destroyer. And in the sea zone around Midway, whatever that happens to be, what is this? 25. Uh, we have two battleships, two cruisers, two destroyers, three um, subs, and a fully loaded supercarrier with attack bomber and two fighters, and then three transport ships. On Midway proper, uh, we have a new naval base. Uh, and we also have five infantry and a mechanized infantry. In the Hawaiian Islands, there is a uh, anti-aircraft artillery. In Sea Zone 54, just off the coast of Queensland, there are two transports. Uh, and then on Queensland itself, there are, I think that's five infantry or six infantry. I just want to count just a sec. We have. Yeah, five infantry, one artillery, and one strategic bomber. So I think that is the extent. Oh, wait a minute. No, sorry. Uh, we have a convoy as well that we need to roll for the Americans. I'm glad I caught that this time. Um, the C-Zone 35, the max they can lose is two, and they do lose two. So uh, the Pacific side of the board... Uh, it was supposed to get 23, they're only going to get 21 because of convoys, so that's good. Alright, so that's uh, the end of the turn. Um, 
the um, Italians are going to be up next, so we'll see what they end up doing.